ScanSnap iX1500 can be configured to scan content to many popular cloud services. And though some cloud providers specialize in content storage and accessibility, others are quite specialized by serving roles like accounting and case management. ScanSnap iX1500 can provide operators a way to digitize their paperwork and then send them into a variety of supported cloud services they already use. This video will explain how to create a ScanSnap account. Configure the account to link to one or more cloud services you've already created and use, and then make a new profile on the touch panel. Now, before I begin, this tutorial assumes that the scanner has already been installed to operate wirelessly, so that ScanSnap can operate as a standalone device, separate of any computer, and already connected to a wireless router with access to the internet. This will allow a PDF file created by ScanSnap to reach ScanSnap Cloud and then transfer to your preferred cloud services automatically. However, in order to set this up for the first time, I'll need to use the computer I used to first install ScanSnap. And it's important that the computer, wireless router, and ScanSnap scanner are all connected to the same network. So to begin, the first step starts with the creation of a ScanSnap account. And this is done by launching ScanSnap Home Software, clicking on Settings, and selecting Preferences from the menu. In the Preferences window, I'll select Account. If the window appears as it does here without any credentials entered into these fields, ScanSnap is ready to have a ScanSnap account assigned to it for the first time. If I already had a ScanSnap account, I could skip this part, but to continue for the first time, I click on Click Here next to where it says If Account is Not Registered. This opens a browser on my computer and takes me to the web page where a ScanSnap account can be created. Here on the left, I'm going to click on the button that says ScanSnap Account Registration. And then I'm going to accept the various terms and conditions and privacy policies necessary to create the ScanSnap account that will create and facilitate ScanSnap Cloud to automatically transfer content between my ScanSnap and my favorite clouds. I'm going to create my new user ID for my ScanSnap account by using a valid email address. And I'll also create a new password just for my new ScanSnap account. Once I verify my account using the code that was sent to the email address I used as my user ID for ScanSnap account, the account creation part is now complete. Now it's time to return to ScanSnap Home and to the account page under Preferences. I'm going to enter my ScanSnap account user ID and password and click the Sign In button. And in a moment, my ScanSnap scanner will link to my ScanSnap account and the account window that appears here will change. Notice how I now have some new settings in this section and that I can now choose a color for my profiles. I'm going to choose a new color and also add my name as the owner for my profiles going forward. OK, I've now created a ScanSnap account and linked my ScanSnap scanner to it. But I'm not quite done yet because I still need to create a new profile for the touch panel that will let me scan to my favorite clouds at the tap of a button. It starts by clicking the Scan Soft key in the upper left corner of ScanSnap Home, and then clicking on Add Profiles from the Scan window. This opens the Scan Settings window, and from here I can see a list of scanning templates, each pre-configured for a specific scanning intention. I'm going to scroll down to where the cloud templates are listed, and notice that there are several different cloud-related templates to choose from. So here's where a decision needs to be made before I can proceed. And the choice is really deciding between two ways I might prefer to scan a stack of papers at one time into my favorite clouds. So some operators may prefer to stack an assortment of unassociated papers into the feeder at one time, meaning that each sheet is unrelated to the others and may even be a mixture of different types of content, such as documents, receipts, and business cards all mixed together. These operators will need ScanSnap to separate each sheet fed through the scanner into a separate PDF or JPEG file, and then automatically route them by their paper type into different cloud services. If that was required, I'd select the Send to ScanSnap Cloud template here and then proceed with it. However, in my case, I prefer to scan my paperwork as a batch of associated paperwork, meaning that all the sheets in the stack belong together, like a utility bill that may be several consecutive pages, and then have all those sheets combined into one multi-page PDF file, 
which will then go into a single cloud service that synchronizes across all my other devices. Therefore, I'm going to select Upload File to a Cloud instead. Once selected, many cloud settings are applied automatically on the left that are mostly optimized for scanning to a cloud in a way I prefer. Since I intend to create a profile to scan to just Google Drive, I'm going to make it very simple for me and just name it Google Drive. And then I'm going to add a brief description here to remind me what it is later. Now, just to make sure my settings are the way I like them, I'm going to click on Detailed Settings. And on the Title tab, I'm going to select to have hyphens placed in the date applied in the creation of the file name. And on the File Format tab, I'm going to make sure PDF is selected, as well as Convert to Searchable PDF, because I want the content of my PDF files to be searchable as well. On the Scan tab, I just want to make sure these settings are all set to automatic and that blank page removal is enabled here at the bottom. As for the file size tab, everything looks pretty good, so I'm just going to click OK. Now, because I want ScanSnap to scan to my cloud service without going through my computer first, I want to make sure ScanSnap Cloud is selected here, which it is. And now I need to select the cloud service that I want ScanSnap Cloud to pass my scans into automatically. So I clicked Select next to Cloud Service, and this opens a new window that shows me all the supported cloud services I can use with my ScanSnap. As new cloud services are added, they'll appear here as well. For now, I'm going to select Google Drive as my cloud of choice for this profile. Because I'm linking a third-party cloud service to my ScanSnap, I'll need to verify my identity with that cloud service provider and provide them my permission. So I may need to do some extra security steps that they require or that I might have set up with that vendor, such as two-step verification. When it's done, I'll click to return back to ScanSnap Home to finish the creation of the profile. Google Drive now appears as the selected cloud. And because I had already created a special folder called My Scans inside my Google Drive account, I'm going to browse for that preferred folder now and select it. And now you can see that Google Drive is selected with My Scans as the target folder within it. Everything is pretty much done, so I'm going to click Add at the bottom. And in a few seconds, the new profile I just created will appear on the scan window, as well as on the touch panel display. Also, and it's important to point out, if I have a slow or unstable internet connection, those things will have an impact on the connection time, transfer speed, and overall reliability of scanning to a cloud service. OK, let's try it out. But first, because I set this up to scan directly to ScanSnap Cloud, I don't need to rely on my computer for this going forward. Once I place my paperwork into the feeder, I select my new Scan to Google Drive profile from the touch panel and tap Scan. ScanSnap will scan everything, upload the digital files to ScanSnap Cloud, and then report when it's transferring. And once I see that message, I can tap home at any time to return to the main screen to continue scanning some more. Meanwhile, my content is now available in Google Drive across all my synchronized devices. For more information about ScanSnap iX1500, come visit us at ScanSnapWorld.com.